is a new concept that we're doing called the uh, Chief Science Officers. So is anybody uh, sitting at a table with a student that might have told you that they're, they're a newly elected Chief Science Officer at their school? See if they're, uh, they're working around, how many hands up in the audience? So, I want to, um, hopefully I'm not gonna embarrass them too much, but I'd like all the students that were able to come tonight that are newly elected Chief Science Officers to come up here so people can see who you are. Um, as we, we're probably going to be, hopefully not embarrassing them too much throughout the year, but this is going to be part of their, their roles. Not to be embarrassed, but to not be embarrassed. <laughs> um, so maybe stand here. I They'll probably start getting me back in some way. Two of them are even... <laughs> They're going to get back at me. So anyway, I wanted to give you some idea of what the new chief science officers are. Uh, I think we have, we ended up having three, six, seven, eight, eight, did I count right? Seven. Seven were able to come. So far this year, there's about 120 that have been elected. And so it wasn't a very simple process for them to get engaged. Similar to how you might have a student government election, these students actually ran and were voted in by their peers to be their school-based ambassador called the Chief Science Officer. We are super excited that these students will become liaisons from their school to help really bring that student voice on campus. So for example, a lot of you have programs that you want to get to the schools. We're now working with students to really be that voice to go and partner with you to get those activities in the schools. So, so the part which is going to be really interesting and impressive, and this is where we're really asking your help, and, partially why we're putting you on the spot here, but especially everybody in the audience, is we want them to be an external ambassador on behalf of their site. And so already we're having conversations about potentially we're gonna get a local uh, congressman to meet with the cabinet that's in Southwest region and have the students talk about their views on STEM and education. We're gonna have them speak at local school boards, at council, city council meetings, potentially at one of, one of the CSOs threw an idea of having, a, having them have a presence at potentially a STEM night at a baseball game or a football game but potentially we want the students to be that voice really representing science and education. So I wanted, there's a couple students that we, uh, we talked in advance that could talk a little bit about their story and kind of their election story and what they want to do as CSO. I think it's Jasmine, and then who was the other, who was the other student we talked? And what was? Sage. Sage, okay, so I want to start with Jasmine, maybe give a, a minute about what you think you want to do with the CSO and the opportunity. Hi, I'm Jasmine Washington, and I'm going to tell you a free reason why I like science. I like science because to me, studying science helps us understand the world around us. It gives us the ability to approach situations in a logical manner. For students such as myself, science can be very rewarding with all the knowledge we gain. I'm glad to be one of my school's chief science officers. All right, next. Next age, here we go. Foreman and I attend Centennial Raj STEM Academy. I wanted to be a Chief Science Officer because I thought it would be a great opportunity to help my community and school. I like science because I do experiments and I learn from the success and the mistakes from what I do with them. Like I could combine some things and it might blow up, but the next time I'll know not to mix those things. So. Yeah, and it's really fun to learn about science because you can make something greater in the future, and that's what I do with those failures and those experiments. So we talked about that in advance, but is there any other CSOs that want to say a word or two about their, their election story or why they want to be? Give the opportunity. Hi, I'm Jessica. I was recently elected two days ago. I really didn't know a lot about the STEM program, but I'm really interested in engineering. I have another fellow uh, CSO, but he actually had to go, and so did my teacher. So I'm the only one here to represent my school. But we're called Chandler Early College. 
We're not really known, but we're a really small school. And I'm just trying to get us out there because we have a lot of really smart students at our school. We have a lot of girls who are very interested in engineering, and I wanted a voice for them. Just for, well, I'm here for the girls. There's a, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Something interesting about our school is that we're actually on a community college campus called Chandler Gilbert Community College. I'm sure a few of you actually know that that's a Maricopa Community College. So a lot of the girls there are engineers, like I was saying, and I'm really interested in getting the STEM scholarships to our girls because a lot of, like, you don't understand how difficult it is going from high school to college. You have to do so much. <laughs> you, uh, I can't explain it. So our girls are really looking forward to the STEM program, and I just want to branch out our school. We have a very small school, 83 people, 83 people in three classrooms with four teachers, and we need a program in math and science. We have a history teacher teaching math and science right now. We really need some help at our school, and that's why we're here. And I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna be like, hey, I'm here because I'm really, really, really interested in building a robot. No, I'm really interested in getting the fundamentals needed for our school to succeed. I'm here for the fundamentals for our mathematics program, for our science program, for our girls in engineering. Zane, he's not here, but he would say, our science program is lacking. We are an online base, so we have to teach ourselves. We need someone to come to our school and speak to us on the important stuff that comes along with science. We have a few Intel people here, and I was just, I would really love it if you came up to me and let me talk to you for a little bit. <laughs> Please. So anyway, hopefully that gives a good preview. What we, we really wanted to do tonight in introducing this concept, we're gonna we're gonna have a couple of the team members that are getting involved. We're gonna swap out the SciTech um, info space to have a couple people represent the CSO. But we really want to utilize this opportunity for people to get engaged. We want to have a mentor that links with each site and each student to help bring those opportunities. Obviously, they're seeking one at Intel, so we're hoping that that will happen. Uh, but really, we want that student voice. The other thing I noticed is the audience is by far the quietest when the students are speaking. And I think that's a key thing to realize is that when these students are out there in the community, people will listen to them. And I think that's a really important opportunity that we're hoping. So. We're hoping this collective buzz and excitement that has been generated by you and integrating the student voice as part of this is really gonna be part of a transformation of the state. The other point just to bring out is that, as we mentioned, there's about 100 to 120 that have been elected. That's this year, and I, I don't know if there's any parents who are like, why don't we have one at our school? And so this one, for example, at Explorer, happened because of a parent learning about it, and they went to the principal and they said, we gotta have this. And I'm hoping that that's gonna happen as it's gonna continue to grow uh, with a cabinet that maybe in a couple years we'll have about 500 CSOs to really have a strong collective voice for the state. So really excited about the program. That's the pitch for that. Thank you to the students for, uh, for being uh, willing to come up and be embarrassed a little bit and coming up and speak. So thank you for, for that part of it.